Hello and welcome to the video related to the chapter 7 of the book Interaction Design Beyond Human Computer Interaction, the fifth edition, with the name Interfaces. In this video, we will talk about different types of interfaces. In case you take the course uh, at the University of Gothenburg in the Applied IT Department uh, on Human Computer Interaction, uh, we are not expect you to memorize every example of this chapter, but we expect you to be able to recognize the different types of interfaces. In this chapter, we will see 20 interfaces. Command, graphical, multimedia, virtual reality, web, mobile, appliance, voice, pen, touch, gesture, haptic multimodal, shareable, tangible, augmented reality, wearables, robots and drones, brain, computer interaction, and smart. Let's start with the command line and graphical user interfaces, GUI. The first interaction with the, one of the first interactions with the computers were by typing commands in a command line in order to access uh, different files. Uh, later, we had the graphical interface where windows, folders, and other files took a visual form. Multimedia and web design. Multimedia involve more than one way of presenting information, and it's really important because uh, it can give different ways of accessing the same information, visual, auditory, or even written. The picture underneath, I don't expect you to be able to read it, but you can follow the link in the um, description of this video to uh, see the um, development of the web design. Here we can see the um, development of uh, UI in mobile devices. Uh, please follow the link in order to see the image in more detail. And we should not point out that the mobile devices nowadays are pervasive. Uh, everything, everywhere we go, we may have a smartphone with us, uh, some kind of wearable and some kind of fitness trackers uh, like here i have the aura ring which is a wearable ring that um, can measure your temperature uh, your breathing uh, and um, can give you data about your sleep so there are all those devi devices are mobiles, even the laptops, which are bigger, but still mobile. Appliances is every appliance that has digital interface. Uh, here I would like to cite uh, the cover story of um, Jan Lert. You can follow the link in order to read the full story. It writes, you are likely familiar with the following situation. Standing in front of a coffee machine, you're uncertain whether you should just press the coffee button momentarily or if you are supposed to keep pressing it until your cup is filled. The second button option is like a buzzer. Coffee keeps pouring only as long as you press. The first option, however, is at least as likely in a modern machine. Initiate a process that will be automatically completed rather than continuously controlled the process yourself. Without disputing the benefits of automation, one may wonder how such modern days uncertainties arose. 
Might the last development of the bottoms, bottoms themselves have something to do with it? Here is a video that can show you uh, pen-based devices of 2019. Touchscreens and cerebral interfaces. Uh, on the left, you can see a picture of a cerebral interface used for educational reasons, uh, used by two children at the same time. And on the right, there is the video from MIT, which is a tangible cerebral interface. Gestures and tangible interfaces. So in this video, we can see Leap, where it's a small device that you put it in front of your um, screen and then you can start controlling your computer by using gestures. However, gestures are not um, socially acceptable in all the cultures. Tangible interfaces. In this video, you can see uh, Dissimo. Uh, Dissimo is this uh, wooden machine that it makes a sound when a person touches uh, the machine. Uh, the other person touches also the machine and when their breathing are uh, aligned, then these things inside the wooden box start moving. You can feel free to watch the video alone by clicking the link in the description. Voice interfaces and haptic interfaces. Voice interfaces, we talked a little bit about them in um, previous chapters, and it's when we talk to a computer like, hey Google, what is the weather today? Haptic in interfaces is when the device that we are touching gives us a feedback, a tactile feedback. For example, if you go to the Google Assistant and try to adjust the volume from the top of the Assistant, you will feel a small vibration that shows that you go through the different um, levels of value. Wearables and brain-computer interaction. Uh, wearables is technology that we can wear. It's a mobile technology and as I saw before it can take the form of a ring, it can take a form of the pads. Feel free to watch the video about a medical wearable device. The brain-computer interaction. This video is suggested also by the book on your right. Uh, it shows a, a woman to uh, manipulate a bottle in order to drink water with her brain. Robots and drones. We talked about robots a little bit in the previous um, chapter and for droids you most possibly know about them. Uh, in this video you can see a performance, an art performance using drones Finally, multimodal interfaces. In almost all the um, cases that uh, we went through this in this video, the interfaces combi were combined. In this video, you can see voice and gesture to manipulate a small and small army of robots. Finally, augmented reality and virtual reality. Augmented reality is when we see and we, we are in the real world, but we have an overlay of the digital world. So we can see attributes of the real world as data. Virtual reality is when we are in the virtual world. We, we can see the virtual world regardless of what it is around us. This was uh, the video related to chapter 7. Thank you for watching and see you in chapter 8.